No amount of lead exposure is safe, but if you've grown up in the United States, there's a very good chance you've ingested lead. That's because an estimated 10 million homes receive drinking water through lead service lines. Here's a look at how lead makes its way to your tap and what you can do to protect your health. Drinking water comes from above and below ground sources, such as aquifers and rivers, and is piped to a treatment plant. In most cases, water leaves the plant lead free, but the greater risk comes after treatment as water is sent out via mains and service lines. Lead pipes were common from the mid 19th through the mid 20th century because they had a longer life than clay or other metal lines. Their use flagged as the health risks became more widely known. Pipes break down due to certain chemical properties of water, such as acidity, dissolved oxygen, or disinfectant byproducts from the treatment process. Corrosion can happen to pipes, solders, or fixtures. That's why many water systems add chemicals to create a protective coating on the pipes themselves. Pittsburgh, which has reported lead levels higher than those found in Flint, Michigan, estimates that nearly a quarter of its pipes contain lead. Although lead in paint and soil also contribute to contamination. If you think you may have lead in your water, here are some steps you can take. In Pennsylvania, water utilities are required to send annual water quality reports. You can also test your own water. Make sure to let the water run for 30 seconds and only use water from the cold tap. Many water filters will also remove lead content from the water. Some utilities have programs to replace lead pipes, but that often only applies to lines they own. You have the option to replace lead service lines on your property and within your home, but be aware that may cost thousands of dollars. And a partial replacement could break off pieces of lead that end up coming through your tap.